Hello everyone, let's briefly break down the line and shape tools while we create a small structure in this wooded area that I've created here. Now you can locate the line and shape tools in the left toolbar. You'll click that L key to activate the line tool, or you can click the R key to, collect, to select the shape tool. Now I'm gonna use the shape tool, that's where you start. Whenever you're making a building, you're gonna be using the shape tool to create the outer walls and then move to the line tool to create the inner walls. Now I'm gonna of course go down to the bottom and put snap to grid and show the grid so that that way I can work with the grid and make sure everything is set up right with that. Now, first, you'll see a couple options when you open it up. You're going to see a free draw option, which will allow you to free draw some walls. You're also going to have a pen. You know, you can just click and hold to go to different things. And if you click, hold, drag, you'll be able to create a curve. All right. Now, we also have the shapes, rectangle, ellipse, and polygon, and you can change the number of polygonal sides that are on there. And you also have a, a brush. So you can just kind of brush a structure together if you want to. All right, so let's go start with a, the shape rectangle. And we're going to go with that. I'm going to click, hold, drag, and kind of create uh, this. Now I'm going to go ahead and just select a pre-made um, wall and floor that I've chosen. But you can change those options here with stamp, or you can change the color, or you can change texture for the fill or color for the fill. Those are going to be the defaults, but here's what I've used, a brick wall against a wooden floor. And then what we can do here is there's an option called Merge Shapes, which allows me to click, hold, drag, and I'll be able to merge shapes to put them together. So maybe I want to kind of create a shape right here, and I have those shapes merged together. Now, you're, there's going to be some other options down here. You have Nodes, and Nodes are basically allows you to select click, hold, and move the nodes. So if you want to change the shape around a little bit, you can. And you can also add new nodes that you can then also edit. So that's what nodes are for. You're also going to have portals, which are basically you're making room for your doors. So if I click that, it's going to create this door. So you got this nice five foot doorway that goes into the structure. So lots of different cool options that you can do there. So very nice. And of course, when it comes to um, the stamps, you can change the walls, you can change the usual hue, saturation, brightness, the color adjustments, as well as the offsets, caps, opacity, layer, offset, shadows. And when it comes to fill, again, color options, adjustment options, and you can change the opacity, rotation, the offsets, the layer offset, whatnot. So you can make those options there as you see fit. And of course, the options for changing the layer of the whole thing, the opacity, blur, and you can change that blend mode. So there's a lot of options there. Let's go move over to um, the line shape. And we're going to create the inner walls. And so with that snap to grid still on, I'm going to use the pen and I'm going to maybe create some inner walls. I'm using a different um, stamp instead of um, stone. I'm going to use wooden ones. I'm going to click, hold, and just kind of create these rooms that I want to create like this. And I'm going to bring uh, this down a layer. I want them to be hidden by the inner walls. And now what happens if I want to create rooms? Same thing. There is a portal option. So you can just create these portals to get in. So now you have a way to get into each one of those rooms. What happens if I want to make a different texture underneath? Make Maybe have uh, the vestibule, this little vestibule area right here be a different texture and then have this one be a different texture. Totally doable. Just turn your stroke and your merge shapes off and just set it to fill and then click hold like this and you have to make sure that it's set to the right layer. So I'll click up a layer and now you have this stone floor that's different, right? I can do the same thing if I wanted to have maybe this floor right here. I want the grain of the wood to face a different direction. So I'll select this and then you, when I go in, you'll notice that there is in the fill options, you can rotate, you can rotate it. So if I want to rotate the, the thing, I can 90 degrees. See, I can change that and now it's facing a different way. And, or I can do the adjustments. I want to make it a little bit darker. I want to make it a little bit brighter. Up to you. So you can make those adjustments. But that's basically uh, the tool, how to break down, how to use the shape and the line tools. Remember, the shape is for the outer walls and the line tool for the inner walls. Pretty simple stuff. If you have any further questions, leave comments in um, on the video for comments, or you can go to our Discord and look for help there. <laughs> I hope you found this helpful. Please reach out if you have any further questions. Thank you so much. Enjoy.